Ahead of the fifth round of the European Le Mans Series Championship, we're here at Spa Francorchamps. GTE's out first for 15 minutes, a total of 12 cars circulating, and it's all bronzes, remember. So Martin Berry, with two pole positions to his name already this year for JMW Motorsport, didn't quite get the third, but did finish, however, third on the grid. Very, very happy, the British squad. Arnold Robat doing well in the championship for TF Sport in the number 72 car, uh, out again. Again in qualifying, of course, a little bit of curb taken there through that corner, but a good time, a 218.0 would put him second on the grid, but streets ahead of anybody by 0.6 of a second, and particularly considering this car's carrying 25 kilos of extra ballast, success ballast, because it leads the championship. So truly a brilliant performance from the American driver, Ryan Hardwick, to start tomorrow's race from the best position on the grid and that's how happy he was at the end of the session. Then we move swiftly on to LMP3s. It was a good time from Glenn von Berlo for Euro International in the number 10 car, a 2.11.9. This session was really one that you couldn't take your eyes off because times continued to tumble throughout it. Some news though after the event I'll tell you more about in a second because there was a major adjustment to the result but Glenn von Berlo will start from third position on the grid behind Ryan Harper Ellum's team number seven for Nielsen Racing they've had a decent qualifying all year and the British squad who started well in yesterday's Le Mans Cup race as well are going well in this session too they'll start from second position and Ryan Harper Ellum very happy with that Manuel Espirito Santo within the session was only second fastest by seven tenths of a second but promoted to pole position in LMP3 because the number 12 Wokenspiegel team Monschau Rinaldi racing car removed from the meeting after Torsten Kratz had not completed any time in free practice or qualifying so car 12 although it took pole position in the session removed from the race onward we went to uh, to LMP2 Pro-Am and a good time from the Belgian racer Tom Van Rompuy. You would expect that really at a track that he knows well with the Spa flag emblazoned on the front of the Orica 07 from DKR Engineering. So the Luxembourgish squad, third position on the grid for the LMP2 teams with bronze drivers. A great tussle in the opening stages of this 15 minute session between this car and the eventual pole sitter, but Giorgio Roda would eventually have to settle for second position on the grid. 0.6 of a second slower in the Proton competition number 99. Nevertheless, it was a great lap from the Italian driver. But Sally Jolic, the driver from Istanbul, Turkey, there's just absolutely no stopping this kid at the moment in the racing team Turkey car. He's had every single pole position to date and it made it four in a row in the penultimate qualifying session. So Sally Jolic together with his teammate Louis Delatraz congratulating him there and Charlie Eastwood start from the best position within LMP2 Pro-Am. Finally, perhaps the session that everyone here was waiting for, this is the full pro lineups for LMP2 and a cracking lap from Laurence Hoare with a 203.7 would put the French crew Edex Sport on the inside of the second row uh, alongside Duquesne team and René Binder. Second position, Phil Hansen actually trying for a hat-trick of pole positions after managing that last time out at Aragon. He also took pole position in Fuji in the World Endurance Championship, but Phil Hansen missing out by just a tenth of a second in the number 22 car. He will start from the front row though and perhaps the outside line into La Source on the first lap might be the better position to be. But Alex Lynn, a 203.56 for, for Algarve Pro Racing. They've taken a win already this year in the European Le Mans Series and this is a great way to start their weekend. So it is the crew from the south of Portugal absolutely delighted with a pole position for Alex Lynn for tomorrow's race.